This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by GoDaddy.com, Cashfly, and Netflix. Movies for squirrels. <laughs> Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. Yeah. That's a pile of okay. for Why do you have <laughs> lies in your freaking house? I've noticed this earlier. Southern, it's Southern California and I have fruit. This is my favorite story of all time. All right, moving on. Wait. You put <laughs> zombie and you put theory in the title and I don't want to do it. Theory zombie Kevin. Dignation.com. Hello and welcome to Dignation episode number 37. I'm Alex Albrecht. And I'm Kevin Rose. Dignation, of course, covers some of the weekly top stories on the social news website, dig.com. That's D-I-G-G.com. Double G! Uh, we're here in San Francisco, the lovely, fair, flady city. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> What happened? What, what was yeah, that? Yeah, uh, email just came in. Ah, turn yeah. that crap off. Um, that said, we are here, Kevin Rose's apartment, mm -hmm. hot and bothered as always. <laughs> don't it know is hot. Where, don't know where that came from. Uh, yes. Beers? Beers. We have some interesting beers. These are actually yeah. the ones that we got for free. Yeah, that guy from Davis gave us a like that whole big bunch uh, mm -hmm. during episode 35. Yeah, it's uh, Sudwork beer, <laughs> which, is, uh, which is a lager from Munich. No, it's from <laughs> Davis, California. <laughs> <laughs> From Munich, uh, there we Davis, go. California. So, uh, sick? I'm getting over my sick. Yes. I, um, I, I went to the doctor and he You're was like, again. I'm drinking again because, well, why not? You know what I mean? It's going to kill something, <laughs> maybe me and my liver, but whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so I went to the doctor and he was like, you know what? Colds just last longer. Mm -hmm. You know, they're mutating and all that crap. So now they're not seven day colds, they're two week colds. And yeah. Well, I'm glad you're getting better. Yes, thank you very much. I'm glad I'm getting better as well. Before we get into yes, the stories. Yes, I talk about your laptop. My laptop broke. Right. It didn't break, 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 if you know what I mean. It's working now. Um, well, no, it's not. You see the big red light that's flashing? The yeah. battery stopped working. So if I unplug it, it shuts down. The battery won't keep a charge. Mm. So I was thinking about, you know, I've had my laptop for about two and a half years. I was thinking about going to Dell and getting replaced, you know, buying a replacement battery. And then I thought, you know what? It's time to upgrade. That's it. Time to upgrade. Why don't you just buy a battery? Just well, because then I got to do buy the battery. I'd rather get it. You know, it, there's always a reason to upgrade. This is my reason. Okay, fair enough. So I thought I would go out to you guys and say, do you guys have any recommendations? You know, what are you guys? What rigs are you guys running on the laptops that you might like? So send me your recommendations mm -hmm. to my email address, which is Alex. I told you what to get. Sorry. At alexalbrecht.com. That's Alex at alexalbrecht.com. I don't want to get a Mac, so don't right. don't send but me the emails from Macs. I'm saying he gets Lenovo, a, 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 a ThinkPad. A, a ThinkPad, which yeah. I'm thinking about doing. I'm thinking about yeah. doing it because you liked your ThinkPad. Well, you know what they said to us, though, right? They, yeah. Um, when, I get, when I got my PowerBook, I got an email from a guy at Lenovo, and he's mm -mm. like, what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. When he said, uh, you switch back, and I'll give you a free ThinkPad. Oh, wow. Which is awesome, but... Did I take a free uh, thing, Pat? I don't know. Possibly. No. I, but see, I, I, I was thinking about getting to get... I was thinking about getting a, maybe like a Falcon Northwest or like an a Alienware, although we're going to uh, talk about Alienware in yeah. a sec. But anyway, so, or if you work at some place and you, you know, can hook us up with a deal and let me know because I'm going to be in the market, as it were. All right. But uh, possibly a ThinkPad. I'll have to talk to the guys at Lenovo's and see what they, uh, what they can do. Um, but anyway, so that's it. The other thing I wanted to talk about was... There was a, fl a whole rumors flying around the forums about us being spoofed on Saturday Night Live. Right. There was sort of back and forth talk of, well, it doesn't really, is it Dignation? Is it not Dignation? The sketch itself was about podcasts, which was horribly, un excuse me, unfunny. I went and looked at it, and I have to say, you be the judge yourself. I'm going to have Keith put up a, a, a picture of a screen cap from episode 35, which right. we did at live mm -hmm. in San Fran, and a picture of the sketch. And the live episode was the most recent episode they would have watched when making this right. sketch. And dude, it's like... No, there's no doubt. It, yeah. They definitely were looking at different podcasts. And it's, it's not a... Uh, it's not, it's really, not they a spoof of dignation. Right. Right. They, they weren't trying to spoof us. Yeah. It's more like these are two guys are sitting down. Doing a podcast. Drinking beer. But they're doing a laptop it, yeah, in front of them. They have the microphone in the yeah. same place that we had that microphone cool, one though. time. It's cool, awesome. It was really cool. I mean, it was a horrible sketch. Right. And I say if they were going to really do it, they might as well just like play five minutes of uh, Dignation. Which they would never do. They would never do, but it but would be much funnier. It was still cool. Yeah, it was still cool. So that said, let's get right to it. Mm -hmm. World of Warcraft player banned for using Logitech keyboard. This is a big deal. Uh, 3,623 people dug this story. Submitted by Anatron. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Whatever. 
A World of Warcraft player was banned from the game for using Logitech's new gaming keyboard. The keyboard allows you to program macros that make game playing easier. So here's the deal. The guy was playing Warcraft and all of a sudden out of the blue that he got this message that from, from the um, sysadmins that said, you're being under investigation right now, we've shut down your account and we may possibly ban you from playing. Right. And he was like, whoa, what? Because he hadn't done anything wrong. Well, well but see, going. here's the thing. The there was nothing in the terms of service agreement that said anything about using, um, they do have third-party macro software you're not allowed to use, but they did not say anything about third-party um, hardware manufacturers. I mean, if you could... Like, like, it still is a piece of software that's running a macro, so when you push a button on your keyboard, it does multiple steps, which would normally take an average user or someone that doesn't have this keyboard some time to do. <clears throat> right, but wouldn't you think that they would have... I mean, like, I have a SciTech keyboard that can do the same thing. Right. I don't happen to use that functionality just because whatever. Think, right, but do you think that... I don't think that's, that's a bad thing that they kicked this guy off. For using a Logitech well, it's keyboard? Not, it's not about the keyboard, though. It's the fact that he was doing like something that would normally take someone 10 steps to do by pushing a single button. All he was doing was equipping and unequipping his armor. Oh, I didn't know that. Are you lying? <laughs> no. Okay, never mind. Okay. But it was like a whole big thing because he'd like hit a button and it would like equip his armor, put on his, you know, grab another weapon okay. and do this whole big thing. I thought thing. he was like walking around and harvesting and like doing all kinds of stuff. Without no, he wasn't like, it. I'm asleep. Now I hit my button okay, on the okay, keyboard okay. and now I'm going to bed. All no. right, that's, yeah. So what the hell? They shouldn't ban him then. No, <laughs> I, I changed my mind. I didn't read the story. So it's like, <laughs> I, this thing, these things happen, you know? <laughs> Let's call that a mistaken personality. Yes. <clears throat> so anyway, big deal, because now, let's say you are using a keyboard that has a macro function. Let's say you do set it up to do something so innate as, or inane as, I'm just going to hit the button and it's going to put my armor on. Right. Boom, you get kicked. And it's a game you've been paying, whatever, how much yeah. ever for a month per for the thing. They should just create a server for the cheaters. You know, just like, yes. seriously. There should, yes. be, there should be a server. They're like, okay. The, glitch, the glitcher if you, server. If you're going to cheat and you're going to harvest all day long. Nice. And like, like, just, this is the server you want to do. Yeah, it on. don't screw everybody else's yeah. game. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, I love that idea. Well, thank you. Do you uh, do that anytime when you play uh, massive multiplayer stuff? I, you know, I haven't played anything massive and multiplayer in so long. <laughs> I ain't played any massive multiplayer. It's been a while. Like, the last thing I played was WoW, and then, like, you know, at the end of Dude, the day, Dude, we were I'm getting like, into WoW, and then yeah, you stopped. Yeah, but I was killing cats, and I'm like, what am I Dude, doing? Dude, you gotta you go to Dungeons & Dragons. You kill really big cats. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Dungeons & Dragons Online you really did it You know what's up, well. though. Like, every Dude. time you play one of these games, all of a sudden, you're in this world, and you're, you're so stoked. You're happy. You're running <clears> around. And then, like... Two months later, you're like, what the hell did I just spend the last two months on? Like, what, what was now, I doing? Now, that I can definitely attest to. I yes. have definitely had that feeling where I'm like, did I just spend four hours doing nothing? Yeah. Although I did level my character and I got a plus two flaming rapier. <laughs> right. But that said, yeah. was that really changing the world? No. No. Let's hug cats, not kill them. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Everybody All loves right. a little cat. <laughs> Let's move on. Next story. <laughs> iTunes movie. Apple. Why did I just say iTunes movie? I was reading the wrong description. <laughs> okay. The story Apple is Apple pulls first movie, then bumps it to $9.99 instead. Now that Two, flows. That, that title that's, flows. That's the title. 2,227 people dug this story. Submitted by Judd Mann. It says, all right, so I can deal with the $2.99 for a movie. I can deal with $4.99 for a movie, but I cannot, cannot pay $9.99 for a movie with half VGA resolution and no commentaries or deleted scenes or any special features whatsoever. Interesting. A lot of people going on off in the comments here. 245 comments in this story. But it was, it was really, this sucks. I mean, well, Apple, yeah, dude, yes, $9.99? No, 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 no. Come on. I hear you. I'm all for Apple getting into movies. <laughs> and I'm all for downloading a super tiny little movie. How and much? I'll and I'll even watch it on my laptop. How much? $3.99. Oh, blah, 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 blah. What? what? $3.99. Gonna... Okay, maybe $4.99. $4.99. Here's the problem. What? This is stupid. What is? <laughs> no, this. This whole thing is stupid. Movies are completely different than television shows. Television shows are, are you know, you sit in your ass, you watch on the thing, you know, the cool little iPod video, that's great. I've watched movies on the iPod video. Mm -hmm. It's not fun. It's well, small. Of course. It sucks. You You're watch like... it on your laptop then. Right, but what do you, blah, blah, blah. What? I'm not going to do that. Why? I don't know. I don't want to. I want to watch it on my TV. <laughs> you know, okay, I want to so, watch it in the movie well, theater. The deal, I want to watch it on a DVD on. player. Let's just say, you know, there's a movie that you really want to see. A friend comes over and is like, hey, have you checked out this movie? Blah, blah, Prince blah, of Tides. Like, I mean, a... wait, no, not Prince <laughs> uh, Prince of Persia. Persia. <laughs> That's not even a movie. Move on. Moving on. Okay, so, Some movie. All right, so 
you're sitting there and you're like, okay, I want to get this movie right here, right now. I want to start playing it. I want to start, you know, obviously, if you go online, you can do it through iTunes and you can pay $4.99. Why not? You can have it within. Well, first off, it's not $4.99. Well, if it's it is $4.99. If it is $4.99. Well, let's say it's $9.99 as it is. Well, then I'm not going to do it. That's just too much money. I'll go, to, <laughs> I'll go down to, to. Blockbuster. No, I won't go to Blockbuster. N- Netflix. A local independent movie store. Netflix, like Rocket Video and Netflix, Hollywood. Netflix is the great, the best name for like a <coughs> porn, like DVD rental. Dude, service. that would be awesome. It was just all porn. Just Netflix. Netflix, get it on, get it off. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. I don't know. Just came. I should be. You in know, it's good when Keith is like laughing his eyes, like ah, That's ah. That's great for porn. That's awesome. <laughs> Netflix. So, no, I agree. I, I think the problem is, is that. We already have, we already have a way of buying movies. Does this make any sense? Like with television, there was no real way of buying television to watch it, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you guys see what I'm going with this? Dude. Like with television, it was like either on your TV or not. <laughs> No, but like with movies, you could you know, there's on you, video on demand. You, you can I'm buy the DVD. You... you can buy the VCR, VHS. You can buy, buy Betamax if it's still around. Right. You could buy Laserdisc. You know what I mean? Like you had all these options to buying it separately than watching it. <laughs> ah. glad, somebody knows yeah, what dude, I'm talking about. I'm glad you're having one of these shows because that's the way I felt all morning. Oh man, it's my plane a, was delayed. It was a rough day for me yesterday. Oh. Dude, I went to this concert and Dan was like buying drinks all over the place. And it was just... <laughs> I'm sure that's what happened. It was. It was what happened. Ugh. All right. How so, you feeling then? Uh, I'm, I'm better now that I've had my second beer. Oh. So. It's like your second wind. Um, so we say boo on you, Apple, yeah, but we like where price. you're going. We like where you're going. Just lower the price. Well, lower the price. price maybe double the resolution. There you go. <laughs> right? right? <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Higher yeah. resolution? That, that would, that would actually money. rock. Well, the, the right, because if I could take it, maybe... Well, what if I could do... What if you could buy it, and you could actually burn it on a DVD and watch it in... But the they DVD? won't be... That's not what they want to do. They want you to buy it, and then they're gonna, you're going to push a button, and it's going to send it to your TV via their little Airport Express yeah, for no, video. Yeah, that's right. what it'll happen, but... That'll be a ways off. Anyway. Well, but I don't want to. <laughs> Hostility between ATI. This is awesome. And then video staff become physical at CBIT. I just love this. Uh, this is sort of like the geeks fighting in, in uh, whatever. Uh, 2057 people dug the story submitted by I'm High. NVIDIA people followed ATI staff outside of Muncher's, Muncher's Haley. I don't know what that is. It's a bar. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's reported that both camps effectively squared up to each other. Awesome. I love that. Who submitted that? I'm high. Oh, I'm high. I love that he said, like, awesome. <laughs> At the end, he just said, awesome. So here's the deal. CBIT comes around. There's this, um, there's this bar, right? And it's this thing. I can't pronounce it. It's like uh, Munch... Munchner Holly, Munchner Hale, Fair enough. whatever Munch Munchner Hall bar and so basically it's a large beer house. It's a large beer house in Seabit, and here's the deal: is that like it's been like known turf for the Nvidia people. Mm-hmm. Like they throw their private press parties there. They do all this stuff. Oh, I love where this is going. These, these ATI guys roll up late night, all drunk, nice. right? Everybody's drunk. The ATI guys roll up like all ghetto style, like "What's up, Nvidia? Here to party!" Woo! And then they start hitting on this Nvidia chick. Nice. They suck. And then it's like all these Nvidia guys were like, "Dude, this guy's not hitting on her because she's hot. She's hitting. They're hitting on her because they want to like tag some tag Nvidia." Some Nvidia. Yes. Hell yeah! It'd be like ATI, tag your ass. <laughs> and then um, how awesome! So would dude, that be? so then it all got freaking you know chest bumps and shit. And then they all <laughs> made like the ATI guys left, and the Nvidia guys followed them out and like squared up and almost threw down. Dude, that's awesome. How hot was that? Oh, that's that's. Dude, dude marketing would change so much if people knew they would get beat down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I would not put out an ad that was like, "Even video punk bitches," and then <laughs> if like all of a sudden it's like, "Bang, bang, bang!" We're here. Let's make it. You know dude, what I mean? I think that's awesome. There needs to be more stories like this. Dude, challenge the shit. You know what uh. I mean? Bloods and Crips anymore. It's Nvidia. Yeah, I love that. Dude. It's like the modern you're gonna be like gang. you're gonna you're gonna go to like a freaking one of those like warehouse auctions in like your city, and you're gonna be wearing an ATI shirt, and a bunch of freaking Nvidia guys are gonna Just roll up on ass. you and jump you because your shirt. That's where it's gonna come to. Seriously, we're almost there. That's uh, that's an awesome story, dude. Awesome, because you know they're just a bunch of dweebles. Yeah, you know what I mean. They're just like we should start some shit with some other podcasts out there. 
Do you remember the Penny like, Arcade stuff? talking shit about Do you remember the Penny talking? Arcade stuff that we had going with them? Was it Penny Arcade? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Who, yeah, was yeah it, it was a tech TV thing we did with them. Yeah, where we were just, it was but like going was back and forth. Games. It was, but I mean, that, like, we should start the, this. Yeah. Who do, you, who do we hate out there that's other podcasters? <laughs> the podcast community is so cool. Yeah, they are. They are very so cool. So far. Yeah. I don't know. Bastards. We'll, we'll find someone. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever. Somebody <laughs> in some other country so we don't have to really do no, anything. <laughs> no, no. Shh. No, we can't don't. say anybody. Who? That'd who? be bad. Tell us. Who? I don't even know what he said. He, he, dude, say, say he just it. said, I'm horny. Did you hear? <laughs> Did you see him? He said that. He told me. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. He totally looked he like, like he said We're like, what? And he goes, I'm horny. <laughs> Yeah, let's rock oh that. God. Let's rock that. Dude, I would freaking... <laughs> if that's really what he said... I would, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that is awesome. Dude, I can't wait for Tahoe. That's going to be so much uh, fun. It is going to be fun. Please come out. off the hookup. Oh, it should be a good time. Hookup. <laughs> 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 All right, moving on. Next story. Ah. Finally, the Windows on Mac contest has what? been won. That's the rock story. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> Next story. Moving uh, on. Plaque Diamond Concept from Sony Ericsson. 2,370 people dug this story. Submitted by... Some guy. Kalanji Humda. No. Just let it go. <laughs> this is going to be a, one cool-looking cell Motorola lookout. I'll have to say, I agree with Calamity. Look at this. <laughs> no, seriously. Look at his cell phone. Dude, that looks like an 80s version of the Bang & Olufsen. Yeah, it's cool. I don't know. It's... I really like that. It's like a clean, slick design, thin... It's got the little step there if you need to... Step? That, that way your face doesn't hit the buttons, you know? Oh, who cares? It looks weird. I'm oh. going to say it looks weird. It looks it like a four sort megapixel of like... camera. Oh. And it's uh, fuel cell powered. What? No, nope, made that up. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was. Fuel cell I thought powered? that's what that said, but it says megapixel. It's kind of weird and distorted. You can't read it. Really. <laughs> yeah, I can see how fuel cell megapixel looks exactly the same. <laughs> I don't know. Does it looks cool, though. This is, uh, I don't think it's... Uh, Going to be out anytime soon? Anytime soon. Why do they do that? Because they want people excited and because yeah. they sell it everywhere else. Yeah, but you know what's so funny? is what? Tell me if this isn't the truth. <clears throat> How many times have you seen like the coolest looking gadgets? Yes. And you're like, oh, that looks really cool. And they're like, not out yet. You know, we'll be in you know a year. You forget about it, and yep. it never comes out. Yeah, oh yeah. Why is that? It's the nature of the business. <laughs> like this, we'll probably never see the cell phone, but it's really cool. Well, but that's the thing is, is that they, uh, you know, you can, yeah. Yeah, I think. <laughs> well, it's the way. I mean, anybody can make anything, anything. You know what I mean? Like anybody can make. I'm right. I mean, this is the best just... quotable episode for you <laughs> ever. You know, anybody can make anything, anything. And this is yeah. serious. It could be all like, oh, look at this. It's a new phone I just made in Maya. Yeah, well, that's true. You know what I mean? You like, oh, we got of... buzz, so now I'm going to try to sell it to Sony Ericsson. Right, right. right. We and have then they're like, we don't. Uh, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, that's what's going to happen. Right. Well, they, they make these cool-looking devices, yeah. but they don't think about the insides. It's like mock-ups and, and electronics that could actually never fit into that small device. or you know, Well, that's the thing. Is like, then you are, have like the marketing companies that put together these great ideas. They're like, we're going to have this new MP3. Look, it's so great. It fits in your ear, and you put it on your testicle, and the next thing you know. <laughs> and it's like, I, you can't do that. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, I don't care how slick it is. That's true. <laughs> Just saying. That's a... <laughs> dude, dude, the testy mounted gadgets oh, is gonna be the next big thing. Dude, so Dan's girlfriend. Whoa! No, no, no. <laughs> I don't need to go here. No, she knitted this beanie. She knitted this. How beanie. did you come from nutsack to beanie? Because, no, it has to do with nutsacks. She, she, no, I mean, hold on, hold on. She's, she wants to create this line of nutsack warmers called Toasty Testies that are all like knitted. It's funny, right? It is, but would you wear one? No, I don't need that. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to Tahoe. It could be nice. Dude. I might wear one in Tahoe. <laughs> right? Dude, that's the second time right. I almost threw up beer. Right? I mean, I wouldn't put that on for a couple no, minutes. No, you see. wouldn't. Don't tell me what I can't do with my testes. <laughs> you fucker, I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to do it even more. Make it my own. Uh, I'm going to ask you. No. <laughs> Dude, but I mean, you wouldn't you if it's cold? No, and I wouldn't, because my snowboarding pants keep me warm enough. I'm sure. Then you uh, got sweaty testes. It's just, it's just a bad situation. <laughs> you can Nobody have sweaty, wants that. Nobody wants sweaty testes. Okay, we're going to bring it back. Sorry for all the kids listening. Moving on. <clears throat> yes. Dell acquires Alienware. Really? Uh, I put that little part on. 
<laughs> 20, <laughs> 2,621 people dug this story submitted by Lowman. Looks like Dell will be selling AMD systems after all through Alienware, that is. Reports confirm the deal has gone down and is closed, which is not False. confirmed. <laughs> um, so done. now this has been reported on Dig is like, come on. Uh, but this was on, uh, what website am I on? Uh, Design Technica. Mm -hmm. ah. And uh, I mean, basically it says, and then of course the, the whole thing starts with, unconfirmed word spreads this morning that Dell has, a, has acquired specialty computer maker in a bid to remain on the cutting edge. What do you think? I think... <sighs> I don't know what First I First off, do you think this. it's true or not? Well, it could be. I mean, there's there's obviously... Well, because Dell's been leaning towards those really high-end gaming stuff with their right. whole... What is it? XL... XLS? XPS? Yeah, XPS, XPS. XPS. yeah. Systems where they're really trying to be like, look, we're not Dell, we're fancy. Yeah, I don't know, man. It just seems like more plastic to me. I'm, I'm tired of... Like, have you played around with those Dell computers, like the high-end ones? No. It's just a bunch of freaking plastic on there. They don't well, but get that's design. The, it's just no, really bad. Well, nobody really gets design. Apple gets design. Well, Apple gets design for people who like design, if that makes any sense. I think a lot of people love Apple because they're like, it's the Web 2.0 laptop. You know what I mean? It's like, look how simple and slick. I mean, it's, I can hear yeah. you saying it in the back well, of my head. <laughs> look how design no, and slick. No, I, I do it's like so, how... So and that's great, but other people might want, you know, like the modders and stuff, they want that, 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 that machine that's going to stand out. Not right. for its simplicity, but for its audacity. You know, the pure nuttasticness. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> well, here's like the a deal. laptop that's like uh, purple and bumpy and has a face coming out of the thing and right. it looks like it I, could I just know, grab you. I and know there's people and they're the same people in. that liked neon and that sure. put windows on their computer cases. And I was yeah. never one of those guys. You weren't Yoshi. I wasn't Yoshi, no, and I, I'll never be Yoshi, because like That's I just good. can't get in, I can't get into the neon. But here's the thing: is is that a lot of the people are that way. You have a neon computer. No, but I'm close. <laughs> I have that like you know audio paint one. I just took it from the screensaver. <laughs> it was That's one right. of the old LAN party machines. Yeah, I mean it was great that you got it for free. Yeah, me too. But me uh, too. I and now they know sense. you stole the computer. And now they know who I am, and <laughs> I'm Jesus. Um, but no, but that said, you know what I mean? Like, yes, but you're looking at it as a economical design. You want it to look like that, you know, $10,000 toothbrush, where it's just, like, slick. It's a banging Olufsen fucking hand towel. Yeah, you know what I mean? Know like, mean. just like, <laughs> wow! That like, you come in and you can, like, fucking cut yourself on the laptop and no, set. I know what you're saying. <laughs> you know, know what I mean? Saying. No, there's, there's something to be said. I think they should run these companies separately. If they acquire, yeah. if Di uh, yeah. Dell acquires Alienware, don't try and make these Dell machines no, no, no. and put Dell logos on them. No, no, no. It's like... Alienware is definitely cooler looking boxes than Dell could ever create. Right. But they're laptops. What is that? Look it's that. a laptop. It's a blue laptop. It's a laptop, sir. Eh. Um, what, do you remember the Alienware with like the Alienware head? Ah, it's stupid. You're I, stupid. I'm just not into aliens, man. I just don't get the whole, like, I want to have an alien on my... I think they're a good company. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're a good company. I know that we've had their machines in for testing in our labs before. Yeah. They're well-built built computers, and a lot of people like them. So, like, we have go labs? Alienware. But... No, not Dignation Labs. <laughs> that's, uh, Tech TV. I know, but I love that you're like, we had them in for our labs. We've been testing them. I was like, we have labs? Where the hell did that happen? That would be cool. Um, yeah, but so so that's one of the things you should think about is is that, yeah, they might not be for you, but I, you know, I'd take an alien. I'd take a nice, you know. Maybe that's the laptop you should get. Alienware laptop. I'm thinking about Alienware or um, um, Falcon Northwest. See, it's funny that I like Lenovo because the ThinkPads are very They're much very, like Apple. Yeah, exactly. They're, They're very, very streamlined, like yeah. hard little tanks, like well built yeah. machines. I mean, hey, I'll talk to the Lenovo guys if they want to give me a laptop, then maybe I'll hook that up, but I'm not sure. Yeah, cool. I would have to be convinced. Um, but anyway, that is that story, and now we're on to a different story. All right, the next story is. Kevin. I know I I made my list differently this week because I'm like I'm gonna put it in tabs. It'll be much easier. It didn't work out. Seems very easy. And next week I'll go back to the old method. Finally, mm, 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 mm. finally the Windows on Mac contest has been won. Thirteen thousand dollar prize. Two thousand five hundred twenty-two people dug this story submitted by Iden Man. <clears throat> Says the contest has been won. Updates to follow shortly. All future donations uh, will go into the account to sustain the open source project that will be launched uh, with the initial solution. Thanks to General Space for hosting the contest uh, in one in our hour of need. So this is pretty cool because basically they said, okay, let's get a bunch of people together yeah. to put a pool of money together, a prize. Right. So this is like the X Prize for space, but for Windows on a Mac. Right. Okay. There we go. So if you can get Windows to boot on one of the new uh, Intel-based Macs, yeah. you win the prize. And someone came up with a way to do it. And uh, 
I actually just went there today because a follow-up story that was just on Dig was like, download the file now. Ah. I downloaded the file and I have no, uh, I mean, Idea obviously this is a uh, G4, so it's not going to work for me. Right. But um, I extracted it and I was taking a look at the how-to document yeah. and it was explaining exactly how, how you have to do it. It's basically, you have to create like this custom install disk and then you have to repartition the hard drive and obviously create a partition for your Windows OS and then uh, a partition, a Mac OS extended partition mm -hmm. for the Mac side of things. But uh, yeah, you, I guess you can do it. You can dual boot and, and run Windows XP. I haven't seen it done. That's kind of cool, can, though. I'll tell you what, though. I am going to be getting uh, a Intel-based Mac here in the next few weeks, and I'm going to try it. So I'll let everybody know oh, how it should. works out. Because it would be nice. I mean, like one of the things I had always said, I like the look of the Mac PowerBook. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's slick. It's nice. It's blah, 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 blah. I just, I'm a Windows guy. You know, right. I have I played video games. I got all the software that I want. I have, you know, access to and all that stuff. So it's like, I don't want to make that switch. And I have a Mac. I mean, that's the other thing. This is, you know, I do have a Mac at home. Yeah, you have it's a G5. G5. Um, and it's a sick, I mean, it's a sick G5. You know what I mean? But you just use it for video editing. Right? I use it for video editing. I use it for burning DVDs. So um, what I want to do though is like I, I'm I'm with you in that there's and certain, audio stuff for my music stuff which is which is great on Mac yeah but uh, there's certain things that I want to do on Windows but I don't want to leave OS 10 right so what I'm waiting for is like the virtual PC that runs native on x86 based processors that yeah way, because that the the PC stuff the emulation stuff was always dirt so. well it had to do yeah it had to emulate the processor right. and there was all this like translation yeah, yeah, yeah. being done now it would be in theory it'll be able to run like natively on the actual uh, machine without having to do that translation it'll be a lot faster and uh, that's what I'm hoping for so yeah well, cool. I hope that that works for you but 13k 13k I don't know. Anyway, okay. PlayStation 3 delay official. I feel bad for Sony. Ah, no, Sony. no, I don't. Uh, 1,740 people dug this story submitted by Toasty Frog. Sony has finally come clean. Pay PlayStation 3's spring 2006 launch is now November. The company cites complications with its proprietary Blu-ray technology as a source of their trouble. So here's the deal. We all saw this coming. The only people who weren't saying it was Sony. Right. And to tell you the truth, you know they are going to be s forcing these things out slapdash in November. Right. You know what I mean? You know that, no you know that oh. November for them is a stretch. And I bet you 20 bucks that November is going to come around and we're not going to see them. Or the device that they're going to ship is going to be not quite done and they're going to have a lot of bugs right I off the bat. I think it's over. It's game over when it comes to... It could be really <clears> hard PS3. because the Xbox 360 did so much stuff right. Oh, I know. And the thing is... People were waiting for spring. They won't wait till November. You know, yeah. especially because they have not talked about the price point, but especially because the price point is rumored to be about nine hundred bucks without a bundle. Nine hundred bucks. Well, they're going to cut the price to match whatever Xbox is at the time. I'm sure, or slightly oh, they, higher. I, I, they have to. They have well, to. They're dead. Well, but but they have mm. to get the they had to get the device out by spring. Here's the deal. So, <clears throat> Xbox. Yeah. Uh, you know, I always like the PlayStation. I always like the Xbox. Blah blah blah. Side by side, it's fine. Sure. You talked me into getting an Xbox 360. Yeah. I've had it now for a couple months. Yep. I'll have to say it is probably the slickest, cleanest, well thought out machine gaming console I've ever used in my entire life. Oh yeah, easily. And I'm not. I, I've. I, you know, I'm, I'm the last person that says good things about Microsoft. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it, this is this is awesome. Everything is so thought out. I know. The controllers, the wireless controllers, they shut themselves off if you're not using them. Yep. Like you can turn. You can see which one's the individual, like which one's one, two, and three. You don't have to worry about like picking it up and being oh, like, what controller? It's awesome. And you can turn off the console from the wireless controller. Yeah. And that, on. And on? Yeah. I mean, I know that's like stupid simple stuff. No, 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 but it's no, like, no. It's, and you the can, first time we've seen even it. when it's loaded, you can always hop into the guide that will take you into your friends list, who's online. Oh, I know. All that stuff. Because they say it only takes 0.5% per, uh, of the processing power to open up the, the guide. That's the cool. I mean, seriously, uh, anyone out there that is thinking about getting an Xbox 360, you won't be do disappointed. It. No, it's really cool. It. The downloads that you can get for it are awesome, too. Well, uh, you can download high-definition movie trailers. I mean, you can I download... I haven't done that yet. Dude, it's in 720p. It's 720p movie trailers. I did, the, uh, I did the, I did the, was it the game that you play all the time, Keith? Uh, Galaxy? Gal uh, no, uh, Geometry, Wars. Geometry Wars. Wars. That's a fun Well, game. the Xbox Live Arcade is huge. You can get right. Gauntlet, the original Gauntlet, Joust. You can download Oh, so games. did you hear about what they're doing <clears throat> with what's coming up? I don't know if they've announced this yet or not, but one of my friends was telling me about it. Uh -oh. uh, so you know Street Inside Fighter. Street. Yes. You're going to be able to download Street Fighter. Okay. And then play it against your friends. No big deal, right? No big deal. But... You can watch other people playing and like put your quarter on the machine and oh, then jump in and play dude. the winner of Uber Lost. Dude. How cool is that going to be? 
That is so freaking smart. Yeah, that's gonna be really cool. That is so. So you just like smart. wait in line and watch everybody playing each other and see how dude, good they are. Dude, that's like classic just, arcade like, stuff. Oh, I know. That is awesome, it's great. dude. It's gonna be really cool. I was horrible at that game. I was too, but it's. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go into like Who was the your children's uh, uh, Ryu. Yeah, I was Guile. Yeah. I love that backflip stuff. I. The, you know, uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about. It. Okay. Moving on. Uh, that's it. No, your story. Last story. Uh, Price Right Photo, they are back. 4,027 people. Uh, actually, not 27 people. 4,000. 26. We were going to say, no, no, no. We were going to say exactly what the number was because this is the winner. Oh, the yes, content. yes, yes. That's right. And we, the, No, it was 4,026. Uh, 4, was it? Yep. We got a, Are you sure about that? Yeah, let's say. Okay. So anyway. Uh, so congratulations, whoever was the first to put in 4,026 as the number. Or the closest to that. Or the closest to that. You have just won a trip for two to come see us in Tahoe. There you go. Uh, but, uh, moving on. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, the story says, uh, uh, basically submitted by Thomas Hawk, which we know is the guy that broke the original story, um, says, well, that didn't take long after becoming the most dug story of all time uh, and being delisted from the major, major price comparison search engines, Price Right Photo is now back in business at both Price Grabber and Yahoo Shopping, uh, even after Yahoo admitted in Forbes that the retailer had hijacked their feedback system. So Wow. Um, I don't know. They, so some people are saying they're back. Some saying they're not. There's a ton of comments. Well, I dude, guess they're not back these... online, but then. Well, but dude, Price Right Photo. I mean, that was a big deal. It was. That, and that was a great. That was a great look into the fact that the sort of mob mentality of online communities can actually affect negative, like actually affect uh, you know swindlers. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, when you read the story, those guys were just swindlers. Yeah, I mean, it was... It I mean, was, the original story. Yeah, I don't know exactly what the deals are. I mean, there's so many <clears throat> comments in there, I'd have to go through them all, but some people were saying, I guess it was marked as inaccurate, because some people were saying that they didn't actually come back, and it was a glitch showing Well, it. some guy called and said he... Some comment... <clears throat> guy said he called, and then the, the call was the two price grabber, and then they were like, no, 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 we have not relisted them. Yeah, I don't know. Well, but I'm sure the price... I mean, uh, here's the deal. The guy's obviously going to do more. I mean, he was making enough money to be a dork. Well, I'm sure. You know what I mean? So, but, but, but like, you know, AirTran or whatever, it's going to come back and say, okay, we're now called, you know, ATA. Well, let's, let's just hope that, you know, I mean, I'm sure after getting slammed and picked up in New York Times and all over the place, eventually yeah. you're going to say, okay, you know, I, should not I screwed up. I should company. not, you know, well, maybe I should do a company, but not the way I was running my last company. So, right. who knows? Well, well, hopefully they come out yeah. better for it. But we don't know. Yep. We'll have to see. All right. Sponsors and then some emails. Yep. Ah. You want to do the cash fly one or the GoDaddy one? Uh, I will do the GoDaddy's hosting plans are now more powerful fly. than ever. Best of all, plans just start at just $3.95 a month. And no matter what plan you choose, your site receives 24-7 maintenance and protection in the GoDaddy.com world-class data center. Plus, as a Dignation listener, which you are, enter the code DIG, that's D-I-G-G, -G, when you check out and save an additional 10% off any order. Get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy.com. Cool, and thanks to Cashfly for handing all of Dignation's <laughs> distribution. Go to Cashfly.com slash Dignation and use the coupon code Dignation when you sign up and you'll get the first month absolutely free. Also, special thanks to Cashfly for giving away an all-expense-paid trip to come see Dignation live in Reno and go snowboarding with us. Yes, and we also like to thank Adagio, as we just said, for giving away another one of those free trips. We had two free trips for Which two. Which is awesome. That's great. I can't wait to see the people who won. Very cool. Because I have a feeling they'll be in We Tahoe. should put their pictures on the show or have them like come in or something when we do the live show. Yeah, maybe we'll take like a picture of them and then post it and then put it up in the show or something. Cool. All four of them, Sounds which would be good. awesome. Um, and then uh, emails. We got an email that was an email slash. And also, if you want to look up the emails, you can pick another one. But okay. um, we got an email slash t-shirt uh, 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 picture. It says, Dignation listener from Germany, dot, 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 with t-shirts. Now, this is from Zach Wilt. Hey, Kevin and Alex, I'm Zach from, what is that, Wisbane, Germany? Yeah. I'm a high school senior living in a military community here with my family. Good on you. Uh, the weather here is nothing like you see stateside. Check out the pictures. Keep up the awesome work. Dig is getting better all the time, and Dig Nation will always rock. So will you, Zach. And check out the picture. How cool is that? Dude, I, I can't wait to go snowboarding. I know. Oh. It's been so long, man. It's been like oh. three years for me, I think. Dude. But, uh, Oh, and, cool. um, well, we'll talk about the hookup. We'll Another email. There. Yep. Uh, from Kitney. Okay. Kitney. M M C Kitney Hodge. Fair enough. All right. Thanks for the email. He says, uh, 
Where is my control alt chicken? I don't see the pilot anywhere. Ah, uh, yes. Control alt chicken, the premiere episode will be airing on the Revision 3 network this Thursday at 7 p.m. PST. We can announce it now. It will be out this Thursday, 7 p.m. PST, and we are going to try to um, release an episode every other week. So every other Thursday at 7, you're going to get a piece of the chicken, as cool. it were. Very excited. We're totally cool. I just finished up the final like, edit, edit. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, it's going to be really, really fun. Cool. And then the last thing I want to mention real quick uh, before we go is there is a new dig feature that we just launched here a few days ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, It's called the My Friends Activity. It's a friends tracker on the homepage. So when you log into your dig account, check it out. Uh, in the right-hand side of your, the navigation there, you're going to see a little window that allows you to see what your friends have been digging, commenting on, or submitting in the last 48 hours. And it also shows you the stories that they have dug that are currently in the queue. So this is really handy because if you want to help promote stories to the front page of Dig, uh, rather than just digging stories on the front page, you can actually see which ones are in the queue and kind of pending, waiting to become promoted. Cool. Go in there and dig your friend's stories. Uh, add Alex and I as friends, and you'll see Definitely. all of our activity right in this little window. Um, my dig username is Kevin Rose, so dig slash dig.com slash user slash Kevin Rose. And I'm dig.com slash user slash Alex Albrecht. And you can also check out all the stories that we've dug in this episode of Dig Nation and all the previous episodes of Dig Nation at dig.com slash user slash Dig Nation. Yes, and then once you log in, if you go to our profiles in the upper right hand corner, it'll say add as friend. It's one click, boom, it's done, it's in your profile. And also send us an email at dignationfans at gmail.com. Um, with pictures of you with our shirts on, comments you want to we'll make, put in the episode, yeah. questions you want, you have for the both of us. And if you do have any recommendations for laptops, I'm now going to be searching. Cool. So that's alex at alexalbrecht.com. That's it for this week's edition of Dig Nation. I'm Alex Albrecht. And I'm Ke I feel like I should get hit the ninja star in my head. <laughs> I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm, and I'm Kevin Rose. <laughs> and we will see you in Lake Tahoe, bitches. I don't know why I call everybody bitches. <laughs> Uh, welcome to this episode of Dignation. I am Alex Albrecht. And I'm Kevin Rose. I am a little hungover. <laughs> this week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by Cashfly. Go daddy da go da da Go da 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 da